married Detroit activist Grace Lee Boggs. Um, Grace, the latest news out of Detroit, Mayor Dave Bing warned that the state could appoint an emergency manager to oversee Detroit if his budget isn't approved. Detroit's ground zero. Well, I think that's the, the problem is that the governor of Michigan, the mayor of Detroit, think that it's a financial issue, and there, there are, I mean, there are huge financial issues in Detroit. But you can't look at a time like this mainly in terms of finances. You have to ask yourself, if 10,000 students are dropping out of school every year, creating a huge fiscal crisis, is it a financial question? Or have the schools failed, and were they created at a time when people were thinking that um, an industrial society and preparing children for a job in a society that no longer exists? And do we have to begin looking at our children and our educational system in terms of how children can become a part of the solving of our city's problems and not isolated in, in classrooms to be given information that re, they regurgitate so that they can get jobs. So You're shown in a exists. desperate situation in Detroit. I mean, you have, for example, the population is at its lowest point in a hundred years. Um, it has declined by 25 percent in the last decade. So what's so wonderful about a huge population? Uh, I, when I came to Detroit over 50 years ago, the population was 2 million. Your parents were Chinese immigrants here yeah, in New York, and you ended up moving with your husband, Jimmy Boggs. Yes, uh, I, I, I moved from New York, where I had lived a good deal of my life and where I went to school, to Detroit, because I thought that the working class in Detroit was going to rise up and restore, reconstruct the city. And I arrived at a time when the population was beginning to decline, when these working class was shrinking, and I had to begin learning from what was taking place. And that learning process is something that a lot of people have gone undergoing. And I think it's very difficult for someone who doesn't live in Detroit to say you can look at a vacant lot and instead of seeing devastation, see hope, see the opportunity to grow your own food, see an opportunity to give young people a sense of process that's very difficult to get in the city, that the vacant lot represents the possibilities for a cultural revolution. It's amazing how few Americans understand that, even though I think filmmakers and writers are coming to the city and trying to spread the word.